In this lecture, we are going to learn about keyword driven testing approach. And here, the learning objective is for a given scenario, determine the appropriate activity for a test analyst in a keyword driven automation project. And this topic is marked as K3. So, in the end of this lecture, you need to understand what is the role and responsibility of the test analyst in a keyword driven automation project. And for that, you need to understand the keyword driven concept and that is what we are going to learn now. Suppose you want to test these two social media website and this is the test case we want to run. Here we want to log into the website. After successful login, we want to change the name. Then save the changes and refresh the page to check if the data is stored. In this scenario, we can use login as a keyword. Under this keyword, we can have three different actions. This point is important. Keywords will have different actions within them. For a login keyword, we need to enter the username, then we have to enter the password and then we need to click on the send or login button. Here login is the keyword and it has three different actions. Other examples of keywords are create user, delete the user and they will also contain different actions in it. Now, in a very simple term we can say a keyword describes a high level action that will be performed in an application domain. So remember a keyword only describes a high level action. Let's understand how the keyword approach applies to the software under test. Like any other approach, here also we have the main script. The point you need to remember is that here we have only one main script which is referred to as a control script. The main script will contain the keywords. For example, login is a keyword here. The main script can also access the data as an input from the data files. And not only test cases, but sometimes keywords can also get the data from the data files. So the main script can get data from the data files and the keywords can also get the data from the data files. When we execute the test cases, the keyword used in the test case is replaced with the action words implemented for that keyword and also takes the data from the data file. This main script then interacts with the software under test to give the input and extract the output from it. We then compare the obtained data with the expected data which is stored in the database. And this is how a keyword driven approach works. Now since we know what keyword driven approach is, we can see some of its advantage. The first advantage is that keywords that relate to a particular application or business domain can be defined by domain expert. This can make the task of test case specification more efficient. We saw previously that once we define the keywords, the test step in the test case reduces. This makes the test case specification more efficient. The second advantage is that a person with primarily domain expert can benefit from automatic test case execution without having to understand the underlying automation code. What it means is once we define the keywords, the team can just use it because the keywords are implemented by the technical test analyst or by the automation tester. Therefore, even if someone joins the team newly, they can easily write the test cases with the help of the keyword without having any prior knowledge about the programming skill. So this is the second advantage 
that if a person knows the domain, then they can just write the test cases without having to understand the underlying automation code. The third advantage is that using a modular writing technique enables efficient maintenance of test cases by the test automation engineer. When there is a change to the functionality and the interface to the software under test occurs. Let's understand this point. Once we define the keyword, we use it in the test case. And if the functionality of the keyword changes in future, it will not affect the test case. We only have to change the functionality of the keyword. By doing this, we include the changes made in the functionality without changing the test case. And this enables efficient maintenance of test cases. The fourth advantage is test case specifications are independent of their implementation. We already covered it in previous advantages where we saw the technical test analyst or the automation engineer implements the keyword and the test analyst only develops the test cases and therefore the test case specifications are independent of their implementation. Now let's summarize the advantages before we jump to the disadvantages. The first advantage is that since the keywords are related to the particular domain, it can be defined by the domain expert which makes the task of test case writing more efficient. The second advantage is that if you have a domain knowledge, you can write a test specification even if you don't have the programming skill. The third advantage is that if you use a modular writing technique, then the change in the implementation will not impact the test specification, which enables efficient maintenance. And the last one is test case specifications are independent of their implementation. Now let's see some disadvantages of keyword driven approach. The first disadvantage is that we need programming skills to implement modular scripts. Implementing the keywords remains a big task for test automation engineers, particularly if using a tool that offers no support for these scripting techniques. And for a small system, it may be too much overhead to implement and the cost would overweigh the benefit. The second disadvantage is that care needs to be taken to ensure that the correct keywords are implemented. We shall develop keywords carefully to benefit from this technique. Good keywords will be used often with many tests, whereas poor keywords are likely to be used just once or only a few times. So these are the two disadvantages. First one is we need to know the programming skills. And the second disadvantage is that care needs to be taken. If you don't pay attention, then you may develop some keywords which are not used in many test cases. And before we end this lecture, we must clearly understand the responsibility of test analysts and technical test analysts. And we will understand this with the help of a flowchart. As we know, first we get the requirement. Based on the requirement, the test analyst creates the keywords and identifies the data. Then the technical test analyst implements the keyword. So implementation of keyword is done by the technical test analyst. Once we are done with implementation, the test analyst develops the keyword driven test cases. After that, they execute the test cases. After execution, the test analyst analyzes the test report. Once we detect the anomaly, that means defect, the test analyst assists in investigating the cause of the failure. The test analyst 
has to find out if the failure is because of the test case or because of the software. If it is a test case related failure, then the test analyst must find the wrong step and provide this information to the technical test analyst. Then the technical test analyst fixes the error associated with keywords. This is the complete overview of responsibility shared by test analyst and technical test analyst. And with this, the lecture ends. Thank you.